as a dream life or the luxuries of life that we look out for or aspire for. The sheer magnificence of that blinds us so much bigger part. The part that is made with hardship and grueling amount of time and efforts. The part that we actually have to work towards. Now let me talk a little bit about myself. As introduced, uh, I am Devashri Biswas. I am an actor and a luxury and lifestyle content creator. Now these are uh, some of the pictures from my Instagram. I create uh, content around my lifestyle, my love for fashion, travel and share it mostly on Instagram. Play it please. Okay, so if you have seen my Instagram, if there is one thing that you probably think about the pictures would be, wow, what a luxurious vacation to have or wow, what a premium outfit she's wearing or perhaps what a luxurious life she's living. Now, to some extent it is true, but what if I told you that the stunning appearance of my iceberg was not even a fraction glamorous as it appears to be? that the luxury was not served to me on a silver platter, that I worked hard each and every day to make, to make it till here. I built this very iceberg with a basic mantra of my life. Have the courage to follow your heart and work relentlessly to achieve your dreams. Now, it may sound philosophical to you all. So let me take you to my journey, journey which is quite dramatic, quite filmy, with the hope of inspiring you all. Now I'm not sure if I'll be able to inspire you that much, but even if I can inspire one life here, that would be totally worth the journey. Now uh, let's go back to my School days, yeah. So I was from a slightly humble background, uh, financially not so well off. I studied at a Bengali medium government school. Study was not my strength back then, but I was a girl driven by her talent, love for the stage. I love performing on the stage, whether it's dance, drama, fashion show, anything really. It gave me immense joy, happiness from within, and great inner satisfaction. I also had a great love for fashion. I loved dressing up, you know, and I uh, followed all the Bollywood trends. In fact, my mother would save money the entire year just to buy me a pair of outfit during Durga Puja. Now, Durga Puja is the biggest festival for Bengalis. I'm sure a lot of you are aware. And during Durga Puja, we would also go to a Bengali community club in Darjeeling where they would give opportunities to young girls to perform and showcase their talents. But the girls who got more opportunities, more stage times and more preference were the girls who were from convent school, who could speak well in English and who were from privileged background. Many a times it happened that at the last moment, I was taken out of the performances so that these girls would get more opportunities and more stage time. That was my first experience with discrimination. That made me wonder, was it because I could not have a proper conversation in English or was it because I was not from a convent school or I was not from a privileged background that differentiated me. I knew that I wanted to change my fate and sort of belong to that class and community so that I get more opportunities 
and more preferences. So, with every ounce of determination, I plucked up the courage to study hard and learn to speak in English, only so that I could go to an English medium college to pursue my further studies. During this phase, I developed a great fascination towards science, biology in particular, and wanted to pursue the same field with the hope of becoming a doctor one day. After my 10th grade, I also went to a spoken English course classes for three months. So my effort did show its color. Finally, I got into a prestigious college of Darjeeling called St. Joseph's in science. That was my first achievement of building up courage and working hard. Well, I did enjoy the college life, the fancy college life and all for some time till I reached a point where I felt that this is not something that I want to do. I want to do something that I'm truly passionate about. I loved, I loved traveling, but I could not travel uh, that time during my childhood. So during this time, I developed a great interest towards aviation industry and wanted to become an air hostess. The very idea of living each day Traveling the world really excited me. But the opportunities were not there in Darjeeling and I had to move out. So did I have courage to go to a bigger city to, you know, go towards my dream? Yes, I did. I packed my bag and with barely enough money, I came to Mumbai to make a living. I joined an aviation and hospitality diploma course. It's sounding simple, right? But it wasn't. It wasn't that simple for me. We often heard that Mumbai is a city of dreams for many, but Mumbai is also a city that teaches you hardest, hardest lesson to make it on your own, but effective lesson. And I was one of its students. So with little money that I came with, which was totally invested on my career and my studies, I thought that I have to find an alternate way to manage my living in Mumbai. I decided to work and join a call center. My first job paid me 6,000 rupees of salary. So with 6,000 rupees of salary, I had to manage my PG, a shared PG by the way, of four to six girls, which was around 2,500 to 3,000 rupees, my travel, my food, and etc. As I pursued my career in an aviation industry and did my trainee flights, I reached a point where I found myself losing interest in the job. Becoming an air hostage did not excite me like it did earlier. So I was in a search of another dream. But for the first time, I felt completely lost and directionless. But I fell in love with Mumbai and I wanted to stay back. So with the desire to stay back in Mumbai and continue surviving in the city, I moved from one call center to another call center so that I find some stability in my life. Very early on in life, I understood that only courage to follow your heart is not enough. You also have to go through hardship and challenges. So during this phase, I fell into a scam of a small call center who offered me a promotion and a very good salary. But they escaped within three months without paying us any salary. And that put me in a compromising situation where I had barely enough money to even pay my rent. So one night when I returned home, my PG owner told me to get out. 
obviously I was not paying the rent for last three months. What do you expect? I had to move out. Now, believe it or not, it may sound very dramatic and very filmy. I actually lived in the back seat of a colleague's car on the streets of Mumbai for nearly one week. If you ask me, yes, this was my darkest phase. But this was also the phase that made me really strong from within. And honestly, I didn't have time to cry as I had to survive. But finally, I got into a reputed call center with a very good salary and two BHK shared company accommodation. Wow, what a relief that was for me. That was my first experience with luxury and how luxury feels like. A decent job, a very spacious house to live in, good food to eat, and I could also afford little shopping at times. So I sort of enjoyed the stable life for some time till my heart was again not at peace. I thought that living an ordinary life is not my thing. I was a girl driven by challenges. I wanted to do something bigger, something different, something extraordinary. Again, I was in a search of another dream. So, when I was doing air hostess course, somebody had handed over me a leaflet saying that you are quite photogenic. You should try modeling and acting. I had dismissed the idea back then, but when I was going through this phase of searching another dream, one morning I came across the same leaflet and I thought, why not? Let's give it a try. Little did I know that few professionally clicked pictures will land me a main lead role in Chandramukhi of DD1 show. Yeah. That was perhaps when I decided that this is exactly what I want to do. At my, as my heart raced while delivering the monologues and living a character's life, it sort of took me to my childhood when I performed on the stage. It gave me the same amount of joy, happiness, and inner satisfaction. I was convinced that this is exactly what I want to do. This is the path I want to follow. Of course, it did not pay me initially that well and I had to leave my stable job. But then by then I already knew that I had all the courage and I was ready to work hard on myself. So, the show got off air within, within like two to three months, fortunately or unfortunately, and my real struggle in the industry began. Auditions after auditions, rejections after rejections, but this time I was not ready to give up. Instead, I enrolled myself in an acting school called Creating Characters to further polish my uh, skills while continuing giving auditions for the characters that I wanted to. While it brought me few episodics, but it took around hundreds of auditions, many rejections, and a very demotivating phase to finally achieve the primary role of main ka in Suhani Si Ek Ladki of Star Plus. What a delightful moment it was for me. The show was doing excellent just within a few months with excellent rating. Soon I became a Star Plus celebrity and for many I became a main car. I was known with my character name, people would click pictures with me, I was written about on all the popular platforms. Not only I went to an award functions to perform, but I was also nominated for my character and awarded. That was my win-win situation. And also that was my second experience with living luxury in the name of name, fame, money, and a dream career that I always wanted. So the show had a great run for almost two and a half to three years. 
and I was part of it for almost two years and I was doing a 12 to 15 hour shift every day to earn my first car, my first house or to have a life that I always dreamt of. But yet I was asking me the same evident question, what next? I had everything, of course I did, but I didn't have the luxury of time. Moreover, I was bored of playing the same character for more than two years. There was nothing more challenging. I could not experiment with my character anymore. Life was getting monotonous and my growth as an actor was stagnant. I wanted to do something where I have my own creative liberty to experiment with my life so that I can live my passion in my own terms. But again, the question, did I have the courage to leave a life like that, a career like that, career which I was truly happy about from within? Yes, I did. Somewhere in 2018, I decided to quit the show. And I decided to travel and live my life the way I wanted. By then, Instagram had already became a platform where I loved despiting my life on. From sharing the behind the scene pictures of my set, to where I went, what I wore, everything made it to my feed. I engaged with my audience authentically and they got totally invested in my life and my career and my work. Soon I became a verified user of the platform and PR agencies and brands started taking a notice. They began gifting me products to experiment with and share my authentic views on them. And that is how I started my journey as a content creator. Of course, initially I invested a lot on me, on traveling, and I worked on barter deals. Barter deals means basically brands would give me products, I would experiment and share my views and create a content on them. Till I was posed with a question, what are your commercials? Means how much would you charge to make a content for them? The term that I was once unfamiliar with not only gave me an opportunity to earn from my passion, but also to be an opinionated voice for my audience. The year when COVID struck the world, leaving the world grasping for more, I was fortunate enough to be earning and rising in my career as a content creator. Since then till today, I have worked with numerous brands Indian, international and luxury included. And they have trusted me enough on my work and worked with me repeatedly. Traveling has been always my dream from childhood and I'm able to travel the world today and also able to stay at most of the luxurious and iconic properties of the world. My followers have increased to 700k now. Now these are not just numbers and materialistic benefits for me. These are piece of my achievement, piece of my hard work that I'm truly, truly proud about. Now with my story, this is exactly what I want to tell you all that if you have the courage to follow your heart, no matter what you want to do, what you want to become, and if you're ready to face any challenges and hardship, you too can build your own iceberg, but with a strong foundation to hold it from underneath. It does not matter whether your journey is slow. It does not matter if your dreams keep changing as long as you grow in your life, as long as you rise and shine. Now, if today, if you ask me, am I settled now? My answer will be still no. I work hard today. In fact, more harder because my dreams are getting bigger. 
As Daenerys Targaryen says in Game of Thrones, my reign has just begun. Thank you for listening.